we've seen that a buffer system contains roughly equivalent quantities of a weak acid and its weak conjugate base. And the pH of such a system can be described by the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Buffer solutions can be formed in a number of different ways. The simplest and most common way is to simply mix approximately equal quantities of a conjugate acid and its conjugate base. For instance, if I combined one mole of hypochlorous acid with one mole of sodium hypochlorite, which is a salt containing the conjugate base of hypochlorous acid, in a one liter solution, I've made a buffer. The pH of the buffer solution is determined by the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, pH equals the pKa of the conjugate acid plus the log of the conjugate base concentration over the conjugate acid concentration. Here, since we have one mole of OCl- in one liter and one mole of HOCl in one liter, and the log of one is zero, the pH equals the pKa of hypochlorous acid, which is 2.0. The second way to create a buffer is a bit more complicated and involves the addition of a strong acid or base to a solution of a weak base or acid, respectively. Let's see how this works by considering a 1.0 molar solution of pyridine, a weak base, in one liter of water. The equation that describes its weak base behavior is this. Pyridine and water are in equilibrium with pyridinium, the conjugate acid of pyridine, and hydroxide. The equilibrium constant for this reaction, which is the Kb of pyridine, is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 9. If we constructed an ice table and determined the equilibrium concentrations of all these compounds, we'd find that there was a minuscule amount of the conjugate acid around and that the pH of the solution was about 9.6. This is not a buffer solution, since the conjugate acid and base are not present in roughly equivalent amounts. But if we can somehow make more of the conjugate acid, we would be able to create a buffer. We can do this by adding a strong acid like HCl. If I add 0 0.50 moles of HCl, that strong acid reacts with the base that's present. Since it's a strong acid, it reacts essentially completely, converting 0 0.50 moles of pyridine into its conjugate acid, pyridinium. So now we have approximately equal concentrations of pyridine and its conjugate acid, pyridinium. We have a buffer solution. We can determine the pH of this solution using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, if we know the pKa of pyridinium, which is 5.14. Since both the conjugate base and conjugate acid are present in equal concentrations here, both 0 0.50 molar, the pH equals 5.14. This makes sense, because we added a strong acid to a weakly basic solution, we expect the pH to have dropped, and it did. The same approach to creating a buffer works for weak acid solutions. If you add a strong base, it reacts completely with whatever acid is present, creating its conjugate base. No matter how they are made, any solution with roughly equivalent concentrations of a weak acid, weak base, conjugate acid-base pair functions as a buffer solution.